Hey guys, Tony Scale YT here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use PM2 to connect to your scripts to host them forever. So let's get started. PM2, also known as Process Manager 2, is a process manager for Node.js applications that can be used to manage and deploy various types of applications. It can work with Visual Studio Code, Replit, and a lot of other major Node.js hosts out there. For my Discord bot, I actually use PM2, and for my self bots, I actually use PM2 to host them, and I use one of my monitors to monitor all the scripts individually. PM2 has logging, and you can connect to your scripts directly from pretty much anywhere and you can host multiple applications on one bucket. PM2 also includes auto restart and an issue catcher. For this example, I'd be using Replit because it is widely used, even though it's like not too good and a lot of people already know how to use it and it's like really versatile. So really quick, I'm gonna make a Discord bot using Replit and then I'm gonna show you guys how to install PM2. As you can see, I have finished my PM2 demo bot. So if this works, and I should just say test and test successful. So what we're gonna do from here is actually, we're gonna go back to Replit and inside of shell, in other cases, like in other hosts, like Visual Studio Code, Pebblestone, bothosting.net, just something like name off the top of my head, what we're going to do is go into the terminal slash shell and then type in npm i minus g pm2. The minus g stands for global and then pm2 is process manager 2. Okay, so now once we have a pm2 installed, what we're going to do is type in pm2 init. This is PM2 initiate, and then PM2 has successfully been initiated, and we have the new ecosystem config.js file. So from here, what we're gonna do is go to PM2, PM2 home, and then monitor PM2. I'm going to quickly create an account. Okay, so I have logged into one of my accounts that I already use, but once you actually have PM2 and once you have logged into PM2 or created an account, what we're going to do from this page is go to create new bucket and then the bucket name will just be whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it PM2 test bot create. And then install PM2 in your runtime server and then you're going to have to, you're going to see this link to connect PM2 to your actual bot. So what we're gonna wanna do is just click right here and we're gonna like click right here and then it's gonna copy the thing to your clipboard and then go back to your application and then in the terminal slash shell, we're just gonna paste this in. On Replit, you can't really control V and control C, but I think that you can just paste it, right? Nope, okay. So we're gonna have to type this in manually. What you can do is just split the screen but if you're not on Replit, then you could actually just copy and paste it into the terminal. But really quick, I'm gonna manually type this all out. And as you see on Replit, I have successfully typed in PM2 link and then the public code. And the PM2 has been activated and we have successfully linked to the PM2 server. So what you can do is go to PM2 monit and then you have all this stuff. You go to process overview and you have successfully linked a server and then you can start the server by doing a pm2 start and i'll show you how to do that so like the main uh, file that holds all of your code in this case it would be index.js sometimes it would be bot.js it depends on how you code but for most people the main file is called index.js so for this example i'm going to be typing in pm2 start index.js and then as you can see we have successfully used pm2 to start index.js and we can monitor everything on here 
This is completely free and as you can see we have all this information. We can show logs right here and I'm going to actually modify some of the code. So what I'm going to do is have console.log test has been set and then control s and for not being unveiled i don't know why breathless has that but what we're going to do is actually just stop this so we don't have two processes running at the same time and then once you actually have all of your code restarted or if you've modified it all you can do or what you can do is do go to pm2 and you can type pm2 restart and you could type in the id or you can just type in all but i prefer doing all so i'm going to type in pm2 restart all and then everything has been restarted and there's an oh as you see we have the logs pm2 down bot has been successfully booted online and if we go over here type in test the bot said text successful and if we go back to Replit, as you can see Replit is not running the application but is running on pm2 and if we go back to the logs test has been said perfect so if you have any issues on this and you can contact me through my discord and my discord is tony scale yt all lowercase and if you enjoyed this video and if it was informative make sure to like and subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you guys in the next tutorial so peace